Gigantopithecus has got an interesting history because it started off a few years ago with an amazing drum feel and a song I'd written for a rock band I was kind of playing around with at the time. Uh, so it actually, the original came from a song, a pop song, rock song, uh, and it, which we didn't do anything with ultimately, but I, I was always intrigued by this drum rhythm and this time that I had on the track. And, you know, when we were recording, we pulled it out again and I just kept playing around with it. And one day I came up with a basic melody for this, which is played on a baritone guitar. And eventually I doubled that with a fretless bass guitar, acoustic bass guitar, and then added, you know, other little accompanying things into it to, to just give it character. And then again, it, it, it took time because I was playing the melody very legato and finally realized it should be very staccato. And, you know, this made all the difference. And it actually sounded to me like some big lumbering uh, animal, you know. Uh, and I found this word, Gigantopithecus, which is, a, a, you know, like a sort of a dinosaur from millions of years ago. And I, I felt that it was appropriate for this, this track. So a lot of thought, a lot of detail, opens in the middle with me playing the oud, which really changed the background to the uh, sustained guitar solo. So we got there.